This is the kind of thing we're, the kind of show we're running, an impossible way of life. Johnny's just, are you getting that second beer for yourself? Yeah, I am. You went, he went out last night, so it's kind of a, well, it is Saturday night, but you also There's went out. There's only one way the, to power through when you go out with, with Mike, Mike and drink 20 pints or whatever it is. Well, I liked that we kind of came up with the idea where you got mic'd up last night. <laughs> well, you called me. You were like, did you get mic'd last night? I was like, yeah, I got You got mic'd, mic'd up. up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Which is even more intense. Great than to just, see him, though. Oh, the, the main man. Great guy. Went to like the new eight and a half, which is... Oh, you're on Main Street. Yeah, it's like... but it's now Side it's, hustle sandwiches. Yeah. yeah. Really cool it's guy who runs still. that, though. Yeah, Alex. Devin. Devin, yeah, yeah. They're Great both, guy. Comedian. Yeah, they're both... Um, there's another guy, Alex. They're both comedians. Rich they, history in that. They bar used to of, do. They used to do comedy at eight and a half. Yeah, you we're gonna say rich history. Yeah, a lot of kind of improv. Yeah, you know. I just want to make it known that we're not doing improv. No, certainly not. Certainly not doing that. This is all scripted. It's not scripted, but it's not improv. No, improv's a bit. Well, how do you describe... You mean like we're like... like It's just like a bunch of beta cock dudes kind of finding ways to engage. It's kind of like Ultimate Frisbee. It's kind of improv in that like when people send us messages and like tell us to do things, then we do it. It's like almost like suggestions from the crowd. Yeah, a little bit like on whose line is it anyway? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, okay, could you guys like talk about, you know... Well, for example, like... John Mayer's short stale guitar. And well, then we're like, okay, thanks. Good suggestion. Yeah. Um, but it is so, weird, his guitar. Yeah, it, I, it's really weird. Because I the worst spoke to you about it earlier. Is. His, like, his PRS small scale rock band scale... Stra- it's not even small scale. It's like a rock band scale strat with the PRS headstock. Mm-hmm. But it's meant to look like... It looks like a toy guitar. It might be a toy guitar. It seems to me that uh, it's the worst guitar anyone's ever built. But you said, quote, it's a shame because I've been really getting into Mayer. Well, here's the thing. I'm really into his ad campaign. Yeah, it's like, good. Yeah, it's okay, I just want everybody, if any, I don't think anybody who listens to our podcast follows my music career at all. But if I have an album coming out later this year, and hilariously... We have already made like ads yeah. that look like the mayor ones, like the 70s sort of beer yeah. ad things. And then I saw that and I was like, oh, great. I'm going to put them out and everyone's going to think I'm copying John Mayer. But just so you know, I did it first. Well, well that someone might be, in the 80s did it first. But them, Oh, yeah. You're harking back. Yeah. But that, I did it first, actually, frankly, yeah. with my solo record. But you know, the whole thing like... like you yeah, no. That, like a slogan. Like, yeah. have you seen the one that's like, Mayor is a player? No, that's not. It's nice. wicked. And yeah. then it's like, a, just like, and it's just him standing in a jean jacket and he's like, it's advertising the tour, just describing what he does on stage in a given night. Is like, he good? Don't miss he's, this. Is Mayor good? I don't know. Mayor's good? I've been singing that song a lot in Luke told me, my nightmares and Luke dreams. told me that he's had it in his head all week. It's yeah. driving him insane. Me too. It's so catchy. It's a good tune. <laughs> you know what's weird about that tune, Last Train Home, is that when I first heard it, I was like, this isn't even a song. Like, if it's doing like a Higher Love Winwood thing, like when it ends is when Higher Love would begin. It Like it revs up through, it's just two verses and then just like an extended verse, weirdly. Yeah, it doesn't, like, it, it doesn't doesn't feel like a song. It's not to a me. song, no. Yeah. It's just like it's an like a vibe. Ad. It's, it's like, a vibe. Yeah. It's like it's like a vibe. total vibe. Just it is vibe. like it's just like the word. It doesn't really it's matter not, what he's singing no. or. Well, I like it that he says actually and one of the surrender. lyrics is, "I'm not a fallen angel." Right. Like he lets us know like that he <clears throat> isn't from heaven. Like he's a mere mortal, and I think that's like nice of him to say, "I'm not a fallen angel." You know? Well, it's nice. Yeah, I mean, because you could get confused. Well, but, I mean... And I I personally, when you said that, yeah, you know that I, I uh, was interested, because we were talking about he's not in rock and roll heaven yet. Well, yet. But we, we said, how is Jerry going to react sure. yeah. when Mayer gets to rock exactly. and roll heaven? Because this is a guy who he'd playing lead guitar in the dead yeah. with his buddies. And presumably by saying, I'm not a fallen angel... He's aware that he's going to rock and roll heaven. Yeah, like and he's everybody spoken knows to the powers that be. And everybody knows Jerry is one of the main rock and roll heaven. Part- like every poster you see, yeah, 
He's, he's always in, in it. it. And we, I know he, he died we, a little older. He, we but know he's there. He's, there. he's, he's an not elder in the 27 too. Club, but he's in Rock. Well, they needed a Mixolydian guy. They did. They needed a guy to mix it up. It and pretty, so it was I want to so know he gets up, up there. there. What's going to happen? Like, you know, the stage, the jam's starting up. Yeah. Mayor and, and Garcia step on the stage. Big, and they're playing Dark Star. It's time for the solo to come in. What's going to happen? Yeah. I don't know. Well, maybe it's a similar thing to Down Here on Earth, where like, it was more of a, I don't know if in heaven they have the same kind of ticket sales, kind of staying relevant issues. Because like, you know, as Luke pointed out, like it was a kind of a strategic move to get Mayer in the band because the likes of Dan Horn have never even made it past the parking lot. Well, they need people. They need bums on seats. Right? Let me tell you, there's a lot of just people up in heaven, too, sure, yeah. that have died. So I don't think they have any trouble filling seats. Well, Is that what you were talking about? Well, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> well, yeah, you're on your phone, dude. I was just turning it over. Nice. Nice. You're on your phone. That was cool. It's like, this is how, you know, we're trying to, Well, like, I didn't want to be distracted. I had to flip it. And you know when you yeah. grab it to flip it, you and have you to see what you just have to what check it, what was, what was just it. Just who it was, Alex. Nice. So I didn't read okay, it. Okay, no, that's Fuck cool. Fuck that. That's, yeah, dude. That's so cool of you. Yeah, dude. I don't give a shit. How is she? She good? Yeah, I, miss I read her, it. I read it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just it was something really nice. Actually. That's how she really nice. missed yeah. me. Or something. That's, I had one of those from Sophie. Actually, it was yeah. really nice. Yeah. yeah, I needed it. Yeah, I did. I needed it. I needed a positive. Yeah, you know. Yeah, she's, get, o- she's over having a great time with uh, Rob Bluesman Butterfield. I had no idea she was over there. She's over there with Chelsea and Rob. And he sent us a really nice message yeah. about after our Let's Talk Blues episode. Shout out to our man, Rob Butterfield. He yeah. actually made a great record uh, he last did, year. Yeah. And, but he, he sort of saved it to reveal to us that it like got on, like it was like heavily rotated <laughs> in Spotify rotation. Blues. And if you... <laughs> Blues, blues playlist. You were one of the number one blues records. What did it even say? Like you were uh, up there with like Robert Cray in <laughs> no, terms of blues, like blues albums of twenty twenty. But they were, it was yeah. all like straight blues. Yeah, it was like Stevie Ray. <laughs> His album isn't even like no, that no blues. there's not even that much blues. It's kind of a JJ Kale adjacent style of blues. <laughs> well, or like the band or something, you know? But yeah, like, it's got yeah. Okay, so it's kind of like American theme. It got park. the most. His album got the most plays on 2020 Best Blues. And the other <laughs> album covers I'm seeing here are Robert Cray. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is this? Dion, weird. Like, feature, Dion? Dion featuring Joe Bonamassa. That sounds like a blues That's record. bluesy as hell. Yeah. Marcus King. Don't know that one. Well, Otis King. Slade. Slade on blues. They're glam. It's weird. This is some weird bluesy. I mean, it could just be his name, and we've mentioned this with Rob Butterfield. Yeah, I think it is kind of pantheon of blues guys. If you're called Butterfield, you're in. Maybe that's what it is with like um, King too. It's like Albert King. They're just the algorithms confused. Exactly, and it's just like it's another King. It's probably a blues guy. BB King, Albert King, Mm -hmm. like Marcus King. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this guy's making EDM. Yeah, (laughs) he's right. And and I think the Dion one, although it probably is bluesy, no, it's could, Bonamassa. It could, it's Bonamassa, but it's also he's got one of those like berets on backwards, which that is kind of bluesy. Sometimes. It's either that nowadays. Or, that's kind of like when you're older than fifty and you play blues, you have to have the kind of headwear like that. Well, headgear is important. It, it hat fedora works. Yeah, but that's also like with interesting because that's normally like um, there's also like Samuel A. Ja- uh, L. Jackson. As he does say. that, but he uh, he's pretty, yeah. he's bluesy guy. He's, He's in that movie kinda... Black Snake Moan that Luke says the ultimate blues film ever. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, I love how interesting Rob, Rob to see Dion said... do it though. Kind Dion's of weird. pretty dude. He's blues. Is He's... it appropriate He's... though to wear a Kangol hat like that when you're uh, Dion? I don't know about that. I don't know. He's Italian. He... Yeah, that's almost the same thing. Kind of, they were like it berets kinda. and things. No, and they don't identify. It. They they're Italians, right? They're mm-hmm. not. You know, it's from the same Caucasians. neighborhood as Phil Spector in, in Brooklyn. Phil Spector. That's the, why that record, that Dion, Dion record, it's a good record. Amazing, because it's like two heavy hitters, yeah. past their prime from the same neighborhood. They used to play get, Ringo Levio together, get, like getting yeah. getting together for one last kind of, yeah, you know, kick at the over can. some Gabagool sandwiches. It's massive and, album, yeah. really good. Yeah. Born to be with you. Yeah, I've been looking for the LP for years. I'm going to be making you a nice Italian meal later too. Mm-hmm. That probably Dion and Spector would be into. I like how Rob said. 
my album was well received by bluesologists. Although yeah. I try to be careful with my minor thirds, the yeah. album knows me better than that. Nice. I was talking to the Luke. algorithm knows him better than that. I, I was talking to Luke yesterday about it, it. Thanks to everybody for the love about our blues episode. I know everybody. I don't know what it is with you people, but you love blues. Yeah, or maybe I really you love really, laughing at blues. I haven't figured it I out. Really I think you just it. like blues. Well, I do. Well, so do I. I'm back into blues. I'm back into blues. Big but time. I was laughing my ass off trying to. I was writing songs the other day, like thinking about Luke saying like the the mental anguish that goes into writing non blues. Oh yeah, and I was like it's so hard. I was like, man, I'm sitting here like, and I was like, if I was just writing blues, I could write twenty songs a day. hundred percent. You know what I mean? And I called Luke, and he was like, buddy, <laughs> he's like, he was like. Don't worry about it, man. He's like, just just play an F sharp minor instead of the A, and you'll be fine. Nice. <laughs> like if you're going for yeah, me, yeah, yeah. He's like, he's like, he's like playing like a, you know, that'll get you out of a lot of problems. Yeah. Like bluesy problems. Yeah. By just throwing playing a minor chord in there. Exactly. Just go up to like the C sharp minor from A rather yeah, than yeah, the D. Yeah. Even though he was saying, even though the D probably will sound better. Yeah. You just have to do 100%. it. Hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. That makes total sense. It's kind of like how like. Neil Young's made a career on like, you know, instead of just playing D, C, and G like Springsteen and stuff, he was like, if I throw an F in, yeah, it's Canadian. It's Canadian. It's- well, that's what Luke was saying. He's like, it's not really that bluesy in Canada, and they don't really, we don't really know how to do blues. No. Like, like even the song Neil Young songs with blues in the title aren't F. really blues. No. Like Ambulance Blues, not it's that not, bluesy, not at all. Well, it's kind of like the emotion of the blues. Well, sure, yeah. but it's, it's not twelve bar. Revolution blues, kind of bluesy. Well, it's one four five. Yeah, a bit, but like you know, it's not it's traditional. Dan- Danko timing. and Levon on it. Yeah, yeah. Do you see there was a thing this week? Um, oh, also, welcome to vampire Impossible. blues is kind of bluesy. To, it is welcome to Impossible Way of Life. Um, thanks for listening. If you like what you're listening to, please check out our Patreon. Patreon at like dot com forward slash. Maybe an impossible way of life. Maybe impossible way of life. I can't remember I one of those cha- two things. I was going to change it the other day. Don't change it, dude. To just impossible way well, of life. Well, it's bad, but don't change it because something will go wrong. No, not on that on Instagram. It's going to go wrong. I didn't do it because I was like, yeah. Yeah, like... What if it just deletes or something? I don't know. Or if I you get keep hacked deleting, somehow like you I did. hacked like the, you did last time. <laughs> you tried to do account. anything, yeah. Just like... But anyway, if you do like this stuff, there's like, I looked actually, officially, there's, you can unlock Mm -hmm. 33 episodes, you know? So that's hard. 33 and a third. Which we'll come to in a little bit. We'll see if that makes the cut. But Mm -hmm. yeah, this is what we do. And, uh, you know, we're kind of, we're kind of hitting on some kind of formula here. It's working because, uh. You know, we're building a community. That's all I'm trying to do. Mm-hmm. I'm just trying to build a community. And you know what? I early so far it's a lot of positivity. I which all I'm I trying enjoy. To, I just don't want any negativity. Earlier on this week, I went and got my hair. I, I was going to say when I walked in, yeah. it looks great. I, thank you very much. I went to get my hair cut earlier this week, and uh, I went to a new hairdresser, and I I just showed them a picture of Mayor, the new Mayor song, mm-hmm. like like uh, Last Train Home. And this guy was like, "Listen, I know what I know exactly what we're going to do," mm-hmm. and it, and it worked. And then, well, I like that he was very professional. You said he actually texted you and asked you for a headshot. He wanted a headshot to yeah. know what he was working with. Exactly. That's commitment. Well, I, I I saw a friend who had traditionally she wears really long black hair, and she had a kind of Justin Bieber in his like you know, kind of hazed out, like, you know, recent, like, dude phase where he's got, like, long-ish bleach blonde hair, like, yeah. kind of old, like, meant to look like he's just grown it out, but it's, like, super professionally done. Right. And uh, and she looks amazing, so I asked her where she got it cut, and she said, oh, this guy did it, but, you know, he doesn't take appointments. You have to text him. So I texted him, and then he asked for a headshot back, and, and, I, and he was like, oh, yeah, no, I passed the test, clearly. Yeah. Which is important. But uh, yeah, I just told him I wanted the mayor kind of thing. But then, you know, I felt so confident about it that I posted a story on our Instagram of my new haircut Mm -hmm. with like Last Train Home playing in the background. 17, 18 different people, I can't remember now, writing back, message back. Looks great, man. Love that. Which meant a lot to me. Made your day. It did. Looks great. You killed it. Yeah. You know, kind of, no. you know, just that kind of energy. That's that's what we're looking for, you know. 
No exactly. negativity. No. I don't want negativity around no. here. So, you know, that's what we're doing here. And uh, there's a whole whack more of it on our Patreon. Some of my favorite episodes are on there. I mean, let's make it clear. I was looking. We I do was, all our finest work on the Sundays. I was looking at it last night and I was like, you know, wanting to, I was like, oh, you know, going to send somebody an episode, sure. a friend. And I was like, oh, and I was like, a lot of my faves weren't on Spotify. Yeah. An and issue. of course, I don't have access to the Patreon account, so. <laughs> Do you not? <laughs> nice. <laughs> I think there's a way. I don't know. It's I fine. I don't really know how it works. I do this shit live. I've never been. I live it. I, I don't need it's to. It's day to day. I don't need to hear it again. But yeah. sometimes, I do want to listen to the blues one again. Is that a Patreon one? No. No, that's just a Wednesday No, one. I know. I do want to listen to that's it. That's fine. I think we just do I'm trying to get, uh, want to get the down to the that... bottom of it. I want to get. We, I think we were to... getting really close with the tuning stuff. Well, what's technical blues? I think that that's really a big part of it. Is honestly. tuning. Well, you saw recently, like there was that Bonamassa interview where he's talking about yeah. Clapton coming to the show mm-hmm. that they, he played in uh, the Albert Hall or something. He's like he's Bonamassa's in uh, in London, and he invites Clapton, and Clapton's heard of him. Of course, yeah. Studies his techniques, you know. Studies anyone who's around, you know. It's up to his kind of blue circles. He's pretty known, yeah. Yeah, is it a circle? I feel like it's kind of yeah. Yeah, it's probably a round table kind of. Thing. I think so. And uh, he said Clapton showed up. He, you know, he he invited Clapton on stage, right? And Clapton just got just got an email back from him. I'll be there. Like, send a car for me. Wow. Send a car. Pick me nothing fancy. Send a car, pick me up, and I'll play. What do you want to What do you want to play? So Bonamassa said, "Further on up the road," because that's the first song that he learned. Electric blues song that he right. learned. Great song. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, I've heard of it. And I, I thought kind of, oh, but I thought when I listened to that, like, okay, controversial because like there's a video documentation of Robbie winning that duel. Yeah, which is kind of interesting. So I was kind of like interested in that he, the Bonamassa, even in his humility of asking Clapton up there, was like, I want to I want to go. Because he knows that if he wins, it's like, and this is how it works with rankings, right? Yeah. It's like, if he takes out Clapton on stage, playing further on up the road, yeah, that means he also then gets a shot at Robbie. Exactly. Yeah. It's like MMA. Well, Robbie would probably avoid that, though. Yeah, I but I don't it's think like, he'd step up. Well, if he doesn't if step up, if challenged, then the the title goes to Bonamassa. I think that I like Clapton's uh, opening in the last waltz okay. to the song. I think like, he like loses chess? the solo. You like his opening position, like his <laughs> gambit. Like, yeah, I, I that but exactly, <laughs> exactly. But then he definitely loses the middle game. Well, he loses his strap. And then ultimately the game. He loses. And that's where the game's played. Yeah. But his opening strong. Of blues. Yeah. <laughs> Same key, I think. It's yeah. good. Robbie also benefits from a lot of CGI. Yeah, he and does. And we don't so. know how far that went. It could have been the whole solo. I mean, we know about we the chess We also don't sweat. even know if we're seeing what was actually performed no. robbie edited it 100 <laughs> percent. like they might have done it like. do you think that the uh guitar strap you know kind of incident was pre-planned by robbie like so he was like i'm gonna just slightly snip away at the at the strap i've watched it many times okay. and paused and enhanced and zoomed in okay you can tell that clapton's got it just hanging by a like it's oh, not on the peg right yeah. like you see it right from the start it's ready to go really throws him though doesn't but it? it's entirely possible that one of the band stage techs yeah handed him the guitar and didn't strap it up properly i mean i've seen that footage too and i've enhanced it myself mm-hmm. kind of turned it into 4k zoom in yeah enhance zoom in yeah that exactly kind of thing. like sort of cia slide 17 mm-hmm. frame 18 mm-hmm. like kind of like a jfk thing Enhanced 30 degrees left. Yeah. To the back and left. Yeah. To the back and left. Mm-hmm. That kind of thing. And I've seen a shadowy figure behind the uh, Fender, well, what now we call like an, uh, a deluxe, but like the tweed deluxe. I've seen, I've seen a guy behind there who's not, you know, he's not accounted for. 
So I just wonder if... Is he playing a, a Tweed Deluxe? I mean, in my version of the Rob, story we're think, doing right now. I think Robbie's uh, music was a music man guy at that Mid point. Mid-70s, a lot of them, makes sense, making that transition. I had that amp, Breaks My Heart, I sold it. Oh. I, I, I think about it every day. Do you? I'd like what, to get it back. What, we're talking like 410s here? 212s. The Music Man, the Knopfler 72. The Knopfler one. Beautiful amp. Why'd you sell it? I needed money, and I had a Blues Junior, and like I got money. I sold it for like twelve hundred bucks, and yeah. it was a good price for. I just and then and now I. You think it was easier to play blues on than the Blues Junior? Oh yeah, it just had a great loud clangy sound. That my telly through that was the gu- Shiloh's rhythm guitar sound. Yeah, to some people's disdain because it was really loud and trebly. Yeah. But I, you know, I didn't give a fuck, dude. Yeah, man, you're like Keith Richards playing through those big twins he used to play. You need it to be allowed to get his tone. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That brings me back around to thinking about, well, I was really kind of, it's been stuck in my craw, you know yeah. what I mean? This idea, because I've been watching the the Apple Plus like 1971. I watched three episodes today. The year that music changed everything. Yeah. And it's pretty good. I mean, they have obviously they've got like it's fun. definitely Ken Burnsy. It's very Ken Burnsy. Yeah, but there's no other way apparently Which you're is allowed. How I like it. Well, there's no other way you're allowed to make documentaries uh-huh. somehow. And this is kind of part of the point that I'm making is that like it's going to end up just being the documentaries are just called Ken Burns. Like the effect on and the award for best Ken Burns goes to yeah. or best Ken, Ken Burns. Burns documentary. Yeah. And Ken Burns wins it every year. Trademark. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I um, I mentioned on the Exile episode that it really kind of like, you notice that these myths get propagated throughout, you know, the s- different journalistic takes on specific records. So it'd be like, you know, Exile on Main Street, like how it was made, and it'd be like the trauma of making this record or whatever, and it's like the stories behind it. And... Uh, there's just these like thematic runs that like it that make actually if you think about them like you think like wh- whoever said this first and the one that's been stuck in in my mind is like I read over and over again that the Exile on Main Street sessions were plagued with tuning problems plagued with them yeah and they brought it up on the apple plus thing it was like the sessions and this has got some like random guy who like was clearly not there being like well you know that infamously plagued with tuning problems and you sort of like listen to this a couple of times you're like oh i guess that is what happened and then i started thinking about it and i was like there's just zero chance that 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 one the stones have ever cared about tuning it's like not in their kind of world view of music yeah you get it close enough right yeah or similarly that like the humidity of cap ferrat is any different from muscle shoals yeah, sure, great. Where they recorded Brown Sugar. Yeah. And like, which is infamously out of tune, but in a cool way, which is the whole point, right? Like, it's like, sounds amazing. I just, I what you said and is 100% true is that I just can't think of any s- session ever that you could say that was like solely ruined by tuning. So everyone had to how leave. How could they not Cancel figure it. out how to get? Cancel, but like no, because they did the session. Yeah, but they didn't. Obviously, they the idea. Made the record no, it sounds one. great. Yeah. But the idea that this has been like propagated, and this is what we're trying to do. We're trying to tell the facts here, mm-hmm. the real facts. We're trying to get through these kind of like the miasma of these kind of you know half truth, the fake news. It's fake news. It is, frankly. Well, they need something to say to yeah. make exactly. But no musicians ever. If they'd ask any musician ever in the history of music, and this is like music journalism, yeah, no musician would be like, oh, yeah, I mean, sessions all the time are just canceled because of tuning issues. I'll believe that when I him. hear Keith Richards say it, which he never will. I'm going to, I want to pose that question to him. <laughs> I want to ask him. He didn't even have all the strings on his guitar. He doesn't even care. He didn't He's even. It wasn't, wasn't even, even in playing tune. guitar. No. Jagger wasn't there. That's what played. He the made session. up his own tuning. G. Yeah. This one's in G because well, that's what it's do. tuned to. Yeah. Well, this one's actually in G because it's uh, the only chord I know. So it's in that's G. That's what that guy. Yeah, 
That guy at the turntable in Victoria used to always tell me. We used to get in big arguments. Nice, tell me about it. The record store. He used to <laughs> he used to tell me about how Keith Richards was a horrible guitar player. Oh, nice. And I was like, no, he's great. And he's like, only knows one chord, open G. <laughs> and I was like, that's not true. This one's in G. And then he said, he said, and I was like, what about the Sympathy for the Devil guitar solo? Yeah. And he was like, no, that was Brian, Brian Jones. Jones. And I yeah. was like, no, you're not. Have also, you seen like, the movie where Brian Jones is like drooling dro- behind the congas? Yeah. Like, yeah. While he's he's so fucked up that they had to get an actor to play him drooling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Poor Brian. Yeah. That's exactly. what everyone says. Poor, Poor Brian. Brian. He invented music. Invented blues. Invented blues. He was, him and Peter Green all invented blues. he wanted blues. to do was to play, play blues. blues. And, and the blues got to him. him. And you know the him. issue, well, the issue with um, Keith now. Well, it's like we talk about with the mental well, anguish. The issue, the clown got inside him. Well, and the mental anguish of trying to make non-blues. Yeah. He was it like, got him. too easy. I can just party and do blues. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, the st- Keith's it, like. All, all of a sudden, they paint it black. Yeah, they're and like, like, and he's like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> he's like, oh, yeah. man, this is. Ruby r- Tuesday? Like, like no, what are we doing? This is really like, hard. I, yeah, I wasn't prepared. I wasn't for this. expecting. We, what's, why are we doing paint it black? This is not. This is non blue. He was like, I was just thinking we'd do blues, but then like add a bunch of like weird world instruments yeah, to blues. Of course, like sitar on a blues. Still song. blues. Yeah, it's still. But let's keep the chord progression simple, and please. let's just use the same twelve notes. I, know. I don't want to change it up. When you watch him doing the slide on no expectations, yeah. I, I'm just like you I'm always him, like yeah. praying that he'll. Get hit it. the notes and I he know. does and it's great yeah but he's it's <laughs> struggling the, yeah because they're expecting him to do jerry like work yeah country music or something well jerry garcia is the only person who's able to dip in and out of the blues world and survive yeah you know i mean and that's why clapton's been after him for all these years uh-huh well i mean maybe dealt with it dylan kind of dips in and out too He'll have well, heavy desire, bluesy periods. But then desire, he'll be Moroccan. Like well, Anatolian exactly. melodies. But then like late 80s, he's went straight blues for like 10 years. Kind of. It's kind of still just blues. Well, no. Like now when he tours, it's, it's like blues. Ble- like the hat like plays harmonic, yeah. like blues harp and stuff. Yeah. Like, he's, yeah. A. And he was a, a bluesy. There's a lot of blues songs on those albums. I mean, it all goes back to blues, right? That's what you said. Yeah. yeah I, mean, I didn't really realize that. Until you said that. And now that, it's, but all week it's been. That actually kinda, a lot of the music I like is kind of comes from blues. I mean, it's we've all seen that everything. meme at that point of a sheep and people following the sheep. And it's like hip hop. But it's true. Disco. It's all comes from blues. Classic rock. Yeah. There's many ways. Jazz, to, I mean, jazz certainly comes from blues. There's many ways to skin a cat, but it's going to be bluesy if you skin it. Because that's the only way it is, really. <coughs> everything. You know? Everything. How about that Fender app? <laughs> from earlier on. That guy. Tell me about it. Well, it's just like I was using Instagram. What little. is it? It teaches you how to play blues. Well, I mean, that's what's startling about it. Is that it's like I'm he's like these... you can do any genre rock country or blues yeah well he seems excited i got this kind of sponsored ad for like an app that fenders created uh-huh. where like you can just like kind of pick your kind of weapon you know bass guitar electric guitar ukulele ukulele if they you're one of the girls in, in, yeah exactly in the, they kind of yeah. I, which i think is a little bit pathetic you know making it be like zoe de chanel types playing ukulele but like there's this app that, you know, will just teach you. It'll teach you how to kind of do kind of anything you want. You certainly don't need to jam. Mm-hmm. You don't need to. It's kind of like Duolingo for music. Right. Learn how to speak French in 10 minutes. Learn how to play the blues in 10 minutes. And I think that guy was really surprised. That you could learn the blues. I don't think he thought blues was learnable through an app. Yeah. And it, and all like Until through now. anything other than just kind of like it being kind of like living it. Well, paying your dues well that's what everybody thought is that you had to kind of have this sort of experience or sadness no to play blues apparently you just need this app yeah fender no. app yeah i think you can i think kind of like you can skip the paying your dues bit yeah well you, you just p- fast forward the video 
Yeah, it's like that's just the first bit. Yeah, and then after that, it's and like they get how the, to play cocaine. Like, yeah, they get the know. pentatonic scale. Yeah, and, and once you're there, it's like you kind of bypass the like, the kind of you know paying your dues section. Straight of it. to the part where they don't da na 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 na. Yeah, and they make it clear that you can do that your whole life. You can just stay. That's blues. That's fine. That's blues. It's good. It's done. It's better. It's better if you stick to that. Yeah. As soon as you start adding notes, it no. becomes complicated. No. And we don't want that. No. Yeah, yeah man. So, so, I mean, there were uh, some other things I was going to talk about, but, you know, I feel like we should get kind of to the nitty gritty here. I was going to mention, I saw a photo of Jerry Garcia playing baseball and wondered, like... That's a he, whole episode for that's me. That's a whole episode, yeah. I want to know about... And that, like, video of we're doing that, like, pre-weird ritualistic gym workout oh bob weir yeah like when he was like doing that weird stuff with his hands with like some gregorian chants yeah he was like there was like just very much i thought that was wicked i thought but i really was worried about his riffing wrist yeah i mean i would be too it was like he was doing a weird thing at the end with the wrist i'm like no one needs to do i don't know i don't think that's really doing but he had a trainer there you hear the guy like pumping him up. personal trainer yeah. yeah the medicine ball thing was wicked it was pretty cool he looks in great shape too He's a great guy. You'd have to be in good shape to be doing those tours. At like 30, let like, alone... All he's done is tour. He's never stopped. His whole life, essentially. Never stop rocking. Yeah. Gotta love it. You do. And uh, the other thing I was going to ask you about is your goggles. How has it worked out? Oh, they're great. My new goggles are great. Yeah. Because yeah. that I've was something we kind of just... We touched upon in the... in this, Just in the spirit <clears throat> of friendship and community. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure there's people out I got, there. I went and I bought the... I went to like a store. Well, you hadn't used them yet. No, no, no. I went two days in a row and they're great. Perfect. Yeah. No problem. That they're means different. a lot. They're, they're different style altogether. It totally works. But you can see I to the see... sea floor, I guess. Oh, my God. It was like... Mil- I felt like a Navy SEAL. Kind of... On like kind of like Sean Connery in The Rock. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah. it was amazing. I could see the entire. It's a hundred and fifty meter pool. See Alcatraz. I could see all the way through. Yeah. And um, all I can say though is I see all these people in there with the other goggles, and yeah. I just want to warn them about it. Yeah. Because like whistleblower, but they've all got it. Like You're they've, a they've all got them on, and I'm like, be careful with that. Yeah. Because I couldn't believe what I found out. Let that be a lesson to all of you if you are swimmers. Watch out for those like really tight around the eye goggles, man. Yeah. Well, you're kind of a whistleblower on this. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll do whatever it takes to spread the word. Anyway, um, so I asked you about because we just did, you know, we did like kind of getting into the Beatles again. Well, I'm just into ranking, really. Well, yeah, I know specifically. Beatles is just the easiest thing to rank. Yeah. It's kind of like it's rock like a, and roll rank university, the Frick school. It's like for if you're a freshman, it's like the freshman kind of. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of 101 ranking. Yeah, it's like Not you start with Beatles and then. Yeah. Well, know. it's also easy because there's only 13 records, right? I thought it was 161. No, that's going. including. I actually did find this guy. Like, this, the, if, Rate your music. Yeah, the, which is a website we've used a lot on this podcast. Well, it's peep. It's the people. Speaking. It's the people. This is like yeah. It's the people deciding. I think they say. Let me just pull it up. <laughs> this shit really got me going. Hang on, Beatles and solo records. Hang on, solo records ranked. I didn't care. Let's see. What we got. Ultimate classic rock. No. Rate your music. Every Beatles. And solo rec- album ranked. Yeah, let's see how many we've got. This is actually kind of interesting. Let me see when the first solo album shows up in it. Number seven, All Things Must Pass. Interesting. Comes in. You know what's above it? What? Well, can you have a guess? It's all Beatles records. So there's six Beatles records above it. What's above it? Above it. Six Beatles records. Um, this is Rate Your Music. So this is the people speaking. Ooh, seven. Well, you don't uh, have to go six no, I'm gonna through say, one. I don't know. You can just help. No, it's not. It's all post rain. Magical mystery tour. Yeah. Six. Oh, what's above it? Oh, yeah. oh, the whole thing. The I think it's just the one. Abbey Road. Yeah. Uh, Sergeant Pepper. Yeah. Revolver. Yeah. White Album. Yeah. Magical mystery yeah. tour. 
And there's another? Uh, well, you've been mic'd up, otherwise you know it's Rubber Soul. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, see, that bums you out a bit, doesn't you it? You know I'm not a big fan. Yeah, but so Seven, based on Rate Your Music, is the first solo one to show up, which is All Things Must Pass. Yeah, I think, yeah. honestly, I'd be I'd have all Beatles and then the solo one. Beatles, Beatles, Beatles. Except Yellow Submarine. It'd probably go all the Beatles albums, yeah. then Plastic Ono Band. Sure. Actually, Yellow Submarine might be well down. Well, list. I mean, yeah, that's the issue. It's not even an album, is it? I like Hey Bulldog. Shall I look at where it is in this Rate Your Music thing? Yeah. Since we're into ranking. It's below Walls of Bridges, I'll tell you that. All much. together now. It's really far down. I'm at 70 and I'm not seeing it yet unless I'm doing Only this wrong. Only a northern song. There's not really much on it. Interesting that, wow, 84 wings at the speed of sound. No what way. What the hell is 84? It? McCartney 290 on Rate Your Music. How many records are there? <laughs> Where's Ringo Rama, it's dude? Twelve. Yellow Submarine, a hundred and one. <laughs> Yellow Submarine, a hundred and one. Ringo N- Rama is 19, twelve. At number ninety-seven is Ringo's two thousand and seventeen record. Give more love. Better than Yellow Submarine. You've official. <laughs> That's not true. It's, That's definitely who's not. Percy Thrillington don't know well that's in this one so i mean who knows what's going on what do you mean it's like an, an alias of one of them or something i don't know i'm looking it up shall i look it up you should know i mean i don't know percy thrillington <laughs> yeah paul mccartney yeah it's a paul mccartney record <laughs> percy thrills thrillington <laughs> nothing's been more paul mccartney than let me that. tell you i knew we were doing this so i went for a run and i found like a spotify playlist of all the solo material like 27 hours oh, of, yeah. and i hit shuffle let me tell you it's demented to listen to like yeah i'll just be like oh cool like imagine yeah nice and then into like the most insane like paul mccartney like funk <laughs> jam from like 98 yeah. or something with tom york yeah it's super <laughs> weird and then like ringo rama which is like it sounds like oasis you know, just, yeah or like i i don't even know like well it's, it's interesting we- you bring up ringo rama because there's a reddit page there's a guy here called jake m 917 and he says i recently listened to all 66 solo beatles records in a row <laughs> <laughs> presumably without sleep here's yeah. my ranking of them yeah and it's interesting because the uh, most of it kind of plays out as you'd expect he's got all things must pass one ram two imagine you know we can kind of debate what's oh, yeah. going on there band on the run flaming pies in there at number five but i found it was interesting at number 12 so this is like this is like you know there's a lot after it. It's another 50 records. Number 12 for him, Ringo Rama. Seriously, this record is incredible. For him, Imagine, it's not as it's better than Imagine. <laughs> the set and he says the second album in a trilogy that Ringo put out, and for my money, the best Ringo album, Eye to Eye and Instant Amnesia are two of the hardest rocking, musically interesting, and overall badass tracks anyone associated with the Beatles has eye ever eye. done. Beatlesy? Yeah, but then it gets even more rocky. Yeah. And then we're gonna... Kind of, so, yeah, it is, it's like so long ago. It's Oasis doing the Beatles. Yeah, yeah for sure. Remember when I said it don't come, come easy. easy. It seems so long ago. Sex rock. <laughs> it's kind of like when we were talking about the Stones being Stonesy. That's like the Beatles being Beatlesy, but like trying too hard to be Beatlesy. I wonder like, like who produced it or like came up with the idea. Because clearly Ringo, he never has anything to do with any of like, the concept of no. music. Like, yeah. But I guess the reason that the Beatles records are like the 101 ranking in Rock and Roll University, like the first course you do is because yeah. there's only 13 records and it's pretty easy to rank them. Oh, yeah. Like, for example, I mean, I'm just going to, I'll do one off the cuff. 
Sure. You know, I'll do mine. Okay, then. thirteen yellow submarine. Yeah, of I course. mean, maybe we should do it. The number. No, I like to start no. with one. Do you want to start with one? That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Okay. Number one, like, I mean, you debate. I mean, this is a contentious. I think it's Rubber Soul, but we. This is a problem. But whatever it is, like, it's gonna. I be... I go White Album. Okay. Then like <clears throat> Revolver Two, Abbey Road Two. Okay. Magical Mystery Tour. Please please me three. Okay, Sergeant Pepper's four. Um, I mean it's complicated. Revolver. Okay, four. Beatles White Album five. Sergeant Pepper's Abbey mm. Road six. Yeah, Beatles for sale with the Beatles seven. It's good. Yeah, I'd go help probably. Beatles for sale eight. Probably then I go Rubber Soul. Okay, then I go Please Please Me. Magical Mystery Tens. Tour. Let it be. Yeah. 11's help for me because I've put Hard Days in a bit earlier. Yeah, Hard Days Night's good, but uh, that one's pretty optimistic. low. Optimistic. With, with the Beatles is probably above that. Beatles for sales high. I forgot about Let It Be. I do really like it, but yeah. I'll, but it's I'll, the I'll, wor- it has to be 10 because it's the worst of all the later ones. And you have to, well, Yellow Submarine, but you have to put it in late. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Or, I mean, here's the Independence. Um, version of it helps just got so many tunes i love that's all. such as help helps one of the best yeah john songs so i got like the independent and i like uh oh yeah the night before oh yeah oh it's really we nice said yeah. our goodbye nice. the night before. dark the dark kind of like kind of brooding duende version of the beatles for i have got another girl the great ones aren't not it? bluesy country it's kind of the stuff that Brian Jones made him go insane. Yeah, it would. It's he kind of like, that and he's a like minor. He's like he probably sat down with Paul and was like, "Do you think you guys could just kind Stop. of stick it's to freaking blues? me out? Just stick to blues. Use sitars. It's fun. It'll be fun. Use for us. sitars. You're working so We're hard. We're fucking everybody. You're Don't working ruin way it. too hard. Yeah, exactly. Seriously. I mean, okay, it really so, worked for Clapton. It's crazy. Yeah, it did. Yeah. <laughs> Like, well, he trademarked a lot of those things. He was, yeah, he did blues. He I trademarked think. blues. I think. I think he does have the trademark. For yeah. It. So the Independence one here is, uh, they go Yellow Submarine, Beals for Sale. This is like backwards. I don't even remember what I said when we did the top ten. It's definitely not what. No, I it was kind think. of. Gestalt. I was just listing. No, it was albums. Gestalt. Well, that's what we're doing. My top three, I'll stick with, stick by. That's say it again. It white album abbey road please please me in that I love order? please please me yeah in that order though yeah white album abbey road please yeah please. you don't want any of that kind of optimistic mid post rain energy well that's white album for me that's bloated record though it's great but love it's like it. it's the one it's the most artistic you know, to me and gonna i, do lo- I love listening we've to uh it. we've already made the best it's the journey record. one to me we've already made the best record it's, it's three separate songwriters making mm-hmm. a record mm-hmm. we've already made the best record of all time what do you do after that we make a double album <laughs> and you keep doubling it yeah exactly and it keeps unfolding it's kind of amazing they only did one double album well, because they wouldn't let George contribute. He, like, like, yeah, Let It Be definitely could have been a double. Yeah. Sh- could have been or should have been. I don't know. Because like, they could have combined Abbey Road and Let It Be. I'm glad they yeah. didn't kind of. But So the Independence one is Yellow Submarine, Beatles for Sale, Let It Be, With the Beatles, Please Please Me at 8. Mm-hmm. But, you know, they're just going to choose another one to put up there, right? It's kind of like you need well, to. Well, that's, that's a very specific. I'm, I specifically yeah. just love the first one. Help 7 for them. Hard Day's Night 6. Rubber Soul 5. So they're more kind of on your terms here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The White Album 4. Sergeant Pepper's 3. Abbey Road Revolver. So, you know, you see these things play out. These rankings, they kind of play out, you yeah. know, in a similar way. Like, yeah. you know, we know that. Yeah. And yeah. then, but I thought it'd be interesting if we also put like solo records in, like the Rate Your Music thing. Yeah, yeah. If you're going to really, and this is kind of like, if 101 Rock and Roll University rankings, the first course you do is just the Beatles, right? It's like Frick when he was first there. Well, it's easy because the it's concise. You yeah. know, they broke up. There's not if we're talking just Beatles, not solo. Yeah. You got the thirteen albums. It's there. Yeah. It's like a good entry level course into ranking. ranking. Exactly. Because the Stones, it gets crazy. You know, because yeah. like there's a lot of albums. Well, I mean, and when you start considering that actually there's a lot of Beatles records post the Beatles. Well, yeah. This but is that, third, fourth well, that's year stuff. Later. 
yeah. the solo stuff. Yeah. And then that kind of like your final, maybe more like a midterm would be like combining yeah. solo and Beatles, which is, well, that's I would no say, easy task. I would say that that's more of kind of like you, 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 it's compulsory at, at ranking rock and roll university, mm-hmm. like kind of where Frick and the kind of rolling clown stuff. college. Yeah. Yeah. Clown college. It's like, a compulsory class is like doing the one. It's kind of like the one hundred and one course in ranking, and it's like ranking the Beatles albums. Yeah, I'd say that like including because there's like like we said there's like sixty six solo Beatles records <laughs> to add to the thirteen records they put out. I think that's a kind of fourth year kind of spe- almost a PhD. Yeah, actually, frankly, so that's what I think we should it's try and tackle stuff. is putting these in. Well, I don't know if we're ready to sort of get to this yet, but I think that the people need to know that you and I, we we make fun of ranking a lot, yeah. but I realized the other day that it's not ranking that I do- dislike. Oh, okay. Interesting. It's actually the way the ranking is done because I think that the stakes aren't high enough. Okay. People, this is, it's arbitrary. They make their list. They're yeah. numbered one to a hundred. Dark side two, uh, dark side three. Who cares? It's whatever. The same. It's the yeah. same thing every single Well, it's like what we just 50. said. Like, it's like revolver one, two, rub so There's no, there's I'll no. I'll do a different where, one tomorrow. What are the stakes? Who cares? Yeah. Where are the stakes? Yeah. So what I want to see is I want to see a system oh. in place where these albums can go head to head. Toe to toe. One v1 man e man until one rises to the top like yeah. a like a tournament march kind of a madness Phoenix from the flames oh yeah like a euro 2020 kind exactly of thing. Yeah. yeah so i think that's something that we should consider i don't know if you've ever thought about anything well, like that but i yeah i mean i understand so we it would so what you're saying it'd be kind of like presumably like all the beatles records are in so yeah. that's 13 records they're just in well, they're in, of course. Well, I'm not going to do like... Well, we're not going to do a bracket of like 161 albums. No, you want to break it down to You like do the best of the best. Like 32. for Kind of from Beatles to like 1980, but then you have to include a few of the ones after that. There's that some are, good ones, though. Like Ringo Rama, obviously. Cloud Nine. Brainwashed, I actually really like. I like it. I know, but can, they can't I have two. Turned it on the way over. It was good. Two of them by George. McCartney yeah. 2, Double Fantasy, because that's it. They're 80. You have to have them in. They're, no, but like McCartney 2. Okay, when I would did say. Tug like, of War come out? That's like Flaming that's Pie. Tug of War's pretty good. Flaming Pie? I don't, I don't even know that one. I mean, this guy. I know he, but he put Ringo Rama 12, dude. Well, he put Flaming Pie 5. Came out in 1997. He said, I love everything about this record everything the best songs of paul's career he says are on this record i <laughs> even the weaker songs never feel out of place this is essentially the beatles standard so it has to be high on the list jeez i should give that a listen flaming pie man yeah he I also mean, has mccartney he has mccartney's first record at seven he's a mccartney guy he's got ram in the top five he's got mccartney band on the run Ra and Ram and Flaming Pie. He's a McCartney guy. Yeah, I get it. So yeah. I just think the easiest way to do it would be you'd have the thirteen Beatles records. Yeah, because you can't like leave any of them out, and then you go through. Yeah, well, I mean, you, you you can't you can't even you can't leave any. It doesn't make sense. No, to. even Yellow Submarine, you have to put it in there. Yeah, and then you gotta go through the solo records, <clears throat> and there's this guy says, well. Get rid of all the night at once post nineteen eighties. Yeah. So I got this list. You can leave brainwash out. I'm fine with that. Yeah. Well, okay. Ev- okay. Well, how about this? Every Beatles artist is allowed one post post eighty. So that's cloud Not nine, including double fantasy. No, it is. Or- oh, really? It is. Yeah. Well, well he's John, dead. John's, like, John's dead, fine. So, he's yeah. fine with that. So we got. Cloud Nine, McCartney Two. Mm-hmm. I'm mean, not going to put fuck. I don't even know what Flaming Pie sounds like. Tug of War is good. Double Fantasy and Ringo Rama. Okay, Ringo Rama needs yeah. to be in. Important question: Do the Traveling Wilburys count as a George solo? It's not. It's kind of like you know what's tough about that is because it's like 
does Wings count? If the you same know kind it's of the thing. same kind of thing. Well, not really. It's McCartney singing every song, but it's kind of like John and Yoko double fantasy. Like it's like why is yeah? How come George? Like he's got a lot of songs on that. Would but. you put like Wilbury's One in instead of Cloud Nine? Then as I would. His 80s I think it's record. better. Okay, well let's just add that in right here. Actually. But I think this is controversial. I don't know if it's welcome. Well, I mean, you, listen, you're the one who's going to be judging. This I show. can't. No, I don't think we can include. Okay. It's a super group. It's too much of a super group. It's a super group. group. It'd okay. be like including, like, We Are the World or something, because, like, Paul was there. Yeah, with Dylan. Like, that album. Was Paul there? I don't know. I just assumed. I don't think Paul was anywhere. He I played was... Live Aid. Isn't that the English one with Geldof for a laugh? Well, they did both. They oh. did. The, 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 the concerts were going on simultaneously. Yeah. No one had ever done that. They no had, had Wembley and New York at the same time. I just Artists think flying back and forth. Back and forth and up and down and all around. Famously, Phil Collins actually did a set at Wembley and then flew over to New York to play drums with Paul. Well, and the reverb was still going around the world. Yeah. He's still going. Yeah. We're waiting for it to come back. <laughs> but I think what no we need to do is... No one's ever up the world before. If we've got 13 Beatles records... Testify. I think we need to get it down to 32 overall. Because then it's like a Because then it's just a round robin. Like it's yeah. like quarter fine. You know, it's like 32 becomes 16, 16 becomes 8, 8, 4, and then 4, 2. That's fine Play for like... style. For our, for our purposes now. But to me, the ultimate way is that every album has to play every album. Yeah, and then you actually I mean, get the ranking set yeah. in stone. So, is like, I, let's get, I'll give an example. Like, this is just a kind of example, so it makes okay. sense to me in my head. What if it's like, you know, because you need to, because they're going to need to seed the record. If they're seeded, then. Well, you, they, you need to seed them. But then all of the Beatles ones are just going to beat whoever they're playing in the first round. Well, n- not necessarily, I don't think. Because, like, what if, like, I don't know, Let It Be came up against, like, Plastic Ono Band in the first round. You could get a shock. Like, But you think Plastic Ono Band would be seeded that high? Well, Plastic Ono Band, it's not about seeding because it's like if there's 32 teams, you have 16 seeds. The other 16 are random. Oh, it's just random. go in. Oh, I see. Okay. Right? Because th- the seeds can't... you thought can't... about this. This is how the Euro Cup operates? No, but I'm just like, you can't have 32 seeds because then it's like, I'm thinking you just have right. 16, so you have every single bracket has, every single get match has a seed in it because you don't want, get, like, Sergeant Peppers to play Revolver in the first round. That's not fair. Right. But you might have a few things. Obviously, it's very possible you have, like, you know, like Abbey Road plays Ringo Rama, and then we'll have a real conversation. On That's our true. Hands. I don't even want to think about that. But if you have kind of like, I don't know, Rubber Soul playing Ram, like me and you might have a conversation on our hands. We might. You know? We might. And the thing is, that's perfect about this is it's like it, there's a competitive element. Mm-hmm. And we may not know the ultimate ranking, but we will certainly know the top three. Yeah. Which I think and, we'll know anyway. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe. I mean, who knows what's going to happen? It's true. Because here's the thing as well. If like we, the the, the, perf, the best thing about this, if you just break it down to 32 records, mm-hmm. is that we can do it to, today. And w- really all we need to do, the only thing what we need to do is break down. I've got this list of 38 <laughs> solo albums because I took all, I've just taken all the 80s ones out. And we need to break this list down to 13 19 records because it needs to be 32 altogether right and then the thing is if once we have that like 32 records including the 13 solo beatles one the real beatles mm-hmm. ones we can do this every episode well it's true and it will be it might be different i mean who knows we're I gonna see think... that's how you see who the best what the best record is and this is what the problem with rankings been there's no competitive edge well exactly there, well there's just no, there's no rules there's no rules. We need to set parameters. For You're this. the judge, jury, and executioner. I just of this think whole that thing. there's more stakes if we like. Honestly, just doing the solo ones, I think, will be like a more entertaining tournament because it's like we then we really don't know what's going to happen. But I don't even know half of those records. But that's why it's fun. 
we have to like, listen if it goes, to? If I don't want to listen to like extra texture versus read all about it. Yeah. yeah extra it, texture versus wedding album. Love that. Like I'd love to have a conversation, but if it's that versus like Abbey Road, it's like, you know what I mean? Yeah, but like, listen, like with any major tournament, you're waiting for the quarterfinals. But a lot of these albums are going to get knocked out. What records? Like the solo ones. I don't know. I think you're miss. I think you're misunderstanding or you're underappreciating how many good solo records there are. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to see but something are, like Imagine go up against Help. Yeah. I don't want to see that. It's interesting. I mean, in my mind right now, just all the Beatles ones are going to win. But I know what you mean. If you posed that conversation. Yeah. That to me, I'd yeah. have to think about it. Exactly. And you're going to probably be thinking about it live on... I'm, I'm going to be thinking about it all day and all night, buddy. The song by the Kinks, which isn't even in this. Yeah, but it could be. And that's that even gets more confusing. But that's kind of really deep in r- clown This would college. be a good... That would be a good tournament to bands. Yeah. It's that, 32 yeah. albums. Let's see what you got. Well, you kind of got three bands with this. I uh, can't do Beatles, but if you did like Kink Stones. Yeah, there's a lot of records Like there. 16 yeah. Kink, 16 Stones albums. <laughs> yeah, just, exactly. And then by the end, you'd wind up with a top 10 mixed. Yeah, yeah. kind of MMA. Exactly. Cage fight. UFC. And then you kind of get it get down. Exile on Main Street versus Village Green title card. I mean, I'd watch that, <laughs> frankly. I mean, I'd watch that. Oh, definitely. I just think we need to break down this massive list of solo records. Okay. So, like, like we've got 38. I think it won't be You need that to break to it do. down to how many? 16. 19, because it's oh, 19. this 13 Beatles records. Okay, okay, list them off. I'll tell you if it's on or off. All things must pass. Of course. I, I, I've also, like, kind of... Okay, they're, they're kind of... Okay, they're in... A, I'm actually going to mix the mix them mix a little bit to make it more interesting. Okay, uh, All Things Must Pass is in, okay? Yeah. We've already said Cloud9, McCartney 2, Double Fantasy, and Ringo Rama are in by virtue of being... They've kind of got like if a buy. If we have to cut? <laughs> no, they've, no of- they've got a buy because they're the 80s ones. Okay. That's how it works. All right. Okay, what about Mind Games? 100%. George Harrison. What's, Maybe. What's on that exactly. one? Exactly. <laughs> this is what happens. I gotta look up what's on that one. Well, hang on. I got this I got a a lot of I got a few different things up here because George Harrison the album? <laughs> yeah, this nineteen seventy nine we got Soft Hard Hannah, Dark Sweet Lady, Not Guilty. No, it's off. Your love is forever. Yeah, he finally did not guilty on yeah. that. Interesting you say that because it's number twenty on the uh, I've just I read love it, this. guy. I love this that I don't know some of this. Oh, yeah, George, this one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, I heard one of these songs on my walk. Let's keep it on. You want it on? Keep it For on. For now? Yeah. Okay. Because it's like, we're, I don't think it's going to be hard to get 19 here. No. Band on the run. On. McCartney won. On. <laughs> Living in a material world. On. Love that album. Wonderwall. No. Off for now. No, that's fucking no, bollocks no, no, in no, it. That that's stupid. <laughs> Wings over America. But that's like what people like. Yeah. Oh, no. You say like. That's like number one. Metal machine music oh. and Wonderwall yeah. music. Are, you know the best Beatles record? Wonderwall music. Wonderwall. Easily. Mm-hmm. Easily. You're not interested? I'm just going to talk a bit louder. Best John Lennon album, Two Virgins. Yeah. No, actually, I'm more into like unfinished music. Life yeah. with lions. One. Yeah. yeah. No, Sorry. two, actually. Uh, <laughs> what did you say after Wings Over America? Oh, I love that one. Live album. Okay, let's get Does rid of live some. Count? Can I just call some of the shit ones? Yeah. Unfinished music, two versions. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Electronic sound. That's I like, mean, isn't that just Harrison on synths? Yeah. Wedding, the wedding album one? Yeah. It's gone. Yeah. Both unfinished music's are gone. Yeah. Venus and Mars? <laughs> what? Uh, is that have, um, with the little luck, we can help it out. Let, let me just take a look at the track. No, listing. you're allowed to look. I mean, it's, uh, I mean, oh, no, I'll is, tell you what. This is shit sandwich, dude. Ultimate classic rock off, really likes it. Off. Junior's Farm. I listened to that on the walk over. I was like, I like this one. 
sucked. No. Okay, what about Sometime in New York City? Love that. Okay. Love that. That's one of my faves. What about Ringo Starr? Standing Bad on the boy. corner, just me and Yoko Ono. We were... Bad boy. Ringo Bad. Starr. Don't even know it. Okay, so he's off. <laughs> Ringo's going to get like two. Yeah. What about London Town? Don't know it too well. The <laughs> Wick off. McCartney one? That's off. Sentimental Journey? Love it. On. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the ranking podcast. Yeah. We're doing it. This is great. Yeah. Rock and roll. No. Off. For now. Off. Okay. Controversial. Wildlife. Shit. Yeah. I'd have to, I think, leave it on for now, but we'll see where, if we need see to cut you. one at the end, I might cut it. I don't like it, really. It's got a couple great songs. Boku of Blues. Yeah. On. Ringo's kind of my favorite. You might have a few. You yeah. See, this is the thing. He'll have three. I know the three. Red Rose no, four, Speedway. Four. The Paul stuff is like <laughs> hotable to me, dude. Like, honestly. Red Rose Speedway. <laughs> <laughs> wings. Oh, no, this is not right. That didn't sound like Wings. That sounded like Journey that you just played on your phone. <laughs> it, was, it was. Yeah. Big. Oh, my Love. Good song. Yeah. Good drummer. 73. Let's leave it on. For now? Yeah. Just because of the year? Because of the songs. I, I like my love. What about Ringo's Rota Gravure? <laughs> no. <laughs> God. Dark Horse. Dude, I heard that on the walkover. It sounded crazy. <laughs> he can't sing. He's all coke <laughs> throat and stuff. I don't know, man. Off for now? Yeah. Good Night Vienna. On. You love that record. Yeah, that's my fave. Okay, Walls and Bridges is on. Yeah. Back to the Egg? Mm. <laughs> off for now <laughs> speed of sounds on yeah 33 and a third that one's pretty cool it's on yeah what about just ringo yeah 100 percent. okay That's and now on. and now we can't these are on plastic ono band imagine and ram are all on let's see what we've got here okay let's see how many i'll count them three four five six seven. <laughs> ringo's got the most <laughs> you didn't do extra texture well, I know it's bad. We've got 23. We need to cut four. Oh, we need to cut four. Okay. Yeah. So. How many Paul do we have? Well, Red Road Speedway can go. Yeah, that's gone. Okay. I think literally at this point, Ringo has the most. So you need to get rid of. <laughs> Wildlife no, can go. I Wildlife's think. gone. Second half of it's he good. He doesn't have the most because Paul has at least three or four. I got. We got. Band on the run. Wings at the speed of sound. Wings over America. McCartney. Ram. He's got five. We need to get rid of two. Yeah. So George is... So, yeah, he's got Ram, Band on the Run, McCartney, McCartney 2, Speed of Sound. It's tough. See, now Ringo's got like nine. No, he's he got did. Wings Over America could go. Uh, it's live album, so I know. maybe. Yeah, I think that goes. How many did I say we need to get rid of two? One Wings more? Over America's really good. I know it is. Leave it on. Leave it on. Okay. Let I would cut um Okay, we've got some time in New York City. Ringo Rama, dude. Ringo Rama? Get rid okay. of Ringo Rama. Ringo, it well, sucks. What are we know. talking about? Kind of <laughs> excited to see. <laughs> okay, we, we need to get rid of one more. So we, here's here's the whole list. I'm gonna give you the list. Okay. All things must pass. Yeah. No, I'll give you you just need to get rid of one. All things must pass. Mm -hmm. Ram. Mm -hmm. Imagine. Yeah. Plastic Ono Band. Mm -hmm. Band on the Run. Yeah. McCartney. Yeah. Living in a Material World. Yeah. Cloud Nine. Uh huh. McCartney Two. Uh huh. Double Fantasy. Uh huh. Mind Games. Yeah. Ringo. Yeah. George Harrison. Yeah. 33 and a third. Oh, George Harrison? No. I hate to say it, but I know which one it is. Sentimental Journey needs to get cut. Well, let me give you the rest of them just in yeah, case. Okay. Speed of Sound, Walls and Bridges, Good Night Vienna, Boku of Blues, that Sentimental Journey, Sometime in New York City, and Wings Over America. Sentimental Journey goes. Or or one of the George ones. I mean, they're not good. Like like the George, uh, 33 and a third. It is pretty good, I think. Let me let me take a look at, at what's on this. Rock and roll, it's to me, it's incredible that one went. Really? Living in material world's good. Rock and roll is is just them doing like fifty standards all keyed up in L.A. I it's don't know. Your scene, it's like you. Yeah, I know, but it's it's 
Yeah. No, it doesn't make the cut. I so is it going to be sentimental journey? How many goes? George do we have? Cloud Nine's good. All Living things- Immaterial World, 33 and a third. George Harrison, five. We've got five of them. I think 33 and a third or George Harrison have to go. Or Sentimental Journey. I think th- 33 and a third's... Have you heard Sentimental Journey? No. <laughs> Just cut it. You won't like it. Okay. Keep some George. Ringo's fine with three albums. Okay, so we've got our list here. So what I need to do now, and we'll do this, and we'll just do this on the Patreon. Yeah. Is put them, we got the 13 Beatles records. Well, we need to decide on 16 seeds. Yeah. And then, so that's going to be like at least the all the Beatles records plus the, you know what I think we should do? Is pull Yellow Submarine and do... All top 12 Beatles records, yeah. and then every single solo artist gets one seed. Exactly. And then, That's we, right. and then we'll pick randomly who they face <laughs> That's in the, the first right round. That's the right well, way to do it. That's the right way to do it. Well, it's the only way to do it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's Ring, do that. Ringo gets... R- Ringo, Ringo. I think the album Ringo would be his seed. Well, listen. Big fan. I'm really excited big to fan, make you fan, this dinner right now. Okay, I can't wait to eat it. I'm and, starving. Uh, we'll just do this, and this will be the Patreon one. So if you want to know truly in a tournament setting, you can you can Google rankings all you want. Exactly. But if you want to know, if you want to see people actually put the work in yeah. and see officially what are and the it best is official. Albums, it will be official. Yeah. We'll discuss it. Yeah. There'll be reason behind it. There'll be it. tears. Look, back, you know... You had to have reasoning behind things. Yeah. It's, you know, Freud and these people and everything, uh, you would young, do yeah. You would do experiments. You would have you do to do cocaine. Have, you'd have to. We will Can have. we do cocaine we would, when we do this? I don't think that's wise, but. Not in this city. No. All right. Okay. We'll do it. Yeah. Great. See you guys soon.